Hey all, this is a tutorial on forms. So, forms on the web serve uh, the same purpose, I suppose, as paper based forms you'd fill out, and we can specify the exact information that we want to gather. So, Coffee Cup gives us, gives us a number of ways um, that we can gather information. Uh, as shown in, in class, there's a, there's a probably go to insert. Go to form items and we'll insert a form. So this dialog box will come up here and insert form. So we're, we're going to get, it's always going to be, the method's always going to be post. Within here, the action, like, like stated in class, we're going to use the mail to function and you insert the email address. Alright, so it's the mail to and the email address. So what this is doing, basically, whatever information is going to be within the form, it's going to take that information and it's going to send it to this email address. So we'll click OK. So we can see here, here's the start of the form, here's the opening. The method is post, the action is a mail to. So within here, put your cursor, we need to in insert some form elements. So we'll go up to insert, form, and we're going to select a text box. So we'll put that in there. So again, we can see input type is equal to text. We need to give it a name. So we'll call this um, underscore name. So it's going to be their surname. And if we put something in here into this text box, it would be uh, the value. So it would be the default value. So we can put in something like enter name here. Right. Skip on to the next line. We'll insert a text area. So we're going to form items. Text area. So we can see text area name. So we're going to give this a name. We're going to call this message. Then we're going to give it a stated number of rows. So we'll give it five rows at the moment. We'll give it a number of columns. We'll create that 20. Skip on to the next line. Insert form items. Submit button. Okay. So we'll save that. Save. And I'm going to put it into my web start folder on my desktop. And I'm going to call it form underscore one. And I'll save that. Now we'll have a look in the visual editor, see what it looks like. So here we have it. Um, here's the opening form up here on the left and on the far right you have the closing form and you've got your submit button your text area and your text box this doesn't look very well so we're going to move them around the page a small bit so we'll push that down a bit push that down so next to this we'll just enter some text name And here we'll put in um, insert message. We'll just try and align them up. Okay. So if if you click on any of these elements, so let's click on the button. You'll see down the bottom here that the properties have appeared on the bottom of the page. So we can change the caption to send mail. And now it's you can just see that it's changed up here. If we click on the text area, again its properties open up on the bottom. So we can give we can see its name, we can see how wide it is, and we can see the number of lines it has. And again we can give this a value. Sort message here. And that's that's happened there. Now that's probably something typical of what could be on the exam. Um, asking you to maybe insert a default value, maybe asking you to change uh, the name of, of a certain element. So if we have a look at that in the preview in a browser. So that's pretty much what it looked like. So you just come along here and you would insert your name. You would insert your message. and you would click send mail.
So when I click on send mail here, it's going to automatically open up my Outlook. And it's just loading. You can see that my Outlook is opening up. Taking some of the time, but it's going to open up your Outlook. If you didn't have Outlook or Outlook Express, this function would not work. So when this loads up, we'll see. So you can just see surname is equal to oh sorry, surname is equal to James Northridge, and then it's message is equal to, and then that's whatever I typed. This is whatever I typed into the message box. So you can just see why it's important to give each element a name so that we know what it means. And you can just see your form post from Firefox. So it's automatically telling it where it's coming from. And you can see that it, it puts in the email address for us as well. So I'm not going to save that. So that's it on forms. Thank you very much.